Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here, and welcome to a brand new part of my Let's Play of Spyro Reignited Trilogy. This is Spyro Year of the Dragon, and today we are here in Evening Lake, and let me tell you, I have not seen this Evening Lake in a really long time, and I think that uh, so far I really dig the interpretation here of Evening Lake. It actually does feel a lot more evening. Look at that skybox up there, we've got an Aurora, Aurora Borealis at this time of the year. Yep, at this time of the year, I know. We're gonna go under the water a bit later. Let's do all of the above ground stuff first, because why not? Get some health there. Now, talk to again, Zoe. Spyro. This power up can make you invincible, but only for a short while. Use it to get by these flame spitters. You'll find an egg when you get past them. Okay, so this is Evening Lake, and this is a time where we have to use that ability there. There's Stuart Little. And it's so strange because it's basically, I'm trying to think, is, is it never used again? I've, like, do, why, why did they do that? And then why did they only do it there? Um, unless I'm getting it, I'm trying to think. I don't think there's any other time, right? I'm fair, oh no, okay, you know what, you know what? Um, yes, there is one in uh, Lost Fleet. But it's, it's sort of a different thing. It's used for the water, like the, yeah, anyway. It's like, it, again, why would they only use it for that? That and that, like two things. It's so strange. There's Ted, named after, named after the namesake of, uh, of uh, Insomniac, or the founder of Insomniac Games, Ted Price. Shout out, Ted Price. Ooh, look at that. That's nice. How great is this interpretation of Spyro model though, by the way? Fantastic stuff. All right, so let's go fly over here. Can we make it? Not with this, not with that, no. Again, it's because you can't do as much stuff in this version, uh, you know, with the, the mod, like you can't do like a like proper, like the same level of jumps that you can do in the original game. It's, yeah, it's like my, it's my least, like pretty much least favorite part of the control, like, control scheme. But Evening Lake is really interesting in the original game because the lore about how it all works is actually changed. Um, in, and, but they, there's like cut dialogue, so in the original game, um, there's cut dialogue of the Professor. The Professor was basically going to be here and you were going to use his rocket ship to get to the next world. And it's referenced, like handle references in uh, Fireworks Factory. But yeah, it's, it's such an odd thing that they, that they got rid of it. Like why would they, yeah, I mean, do they want it to be a surprise that the Professor would be you know, in, in Agent 9's world? Ah, Agent 9. Um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. Got some, uh... There you go, alright, let's get top in, hop in. Jonah. Jonah the Whale. Biblical reference, alright. Hop in, let's go. There we go. Ooh. Jonah, yeah, some biblical reference, I know that. And he's on a handstand. On, 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 like, skin. On whale skin. Look at this. Just be the thumbnail. Inside a whale. It's like, uh, was it Spect- not Spectre's Island, um... Oh, what's the level in, um... Oh, it's, you know, in Apescape 1. You know, when you're in, inside that bloody giant thing. It's creepy as it's awesome, though. Dexter? Dexter's Island? No. Maybe? I can't remember. Fake fan. Fake Apescape fan. Hashtag fake fan. I actually don't, don't. Do not hashtag that. Do not hashtag fake fan. Otherwise, I'll be very upset. My 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 Apescape fandom cannot take this. I cannot be exposed to the Apescape community. Um, but yeah, this is really nice. I really like how it looks. Um, it's really yeah. It's 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 cool. There's a lot of a lot of brick. A lot of stuff. A lot of stone. It's very much something that is used a lot in Reignited. Oh, sorry about that. A bit of interruptions on my own end here. I was having a bloody coughing fit. It's like it's like not like too much like dust in here or something like that. I keep like getting caught up. I don't know why. This is usually a pretty good room. I need to get a dehumidifier. No, I'm gonna get like one of those demystifiers or whatever they are. All right, can we actually unlock? If we unlock this mush uh, mushroom factory, fireworks factory, mushroom factory would be great. I wouldn't like that. I, I wouldn't mind that. These these. Portals almost don't look like portal entrances. Like, I don't know how to describe it. They're super blurry and like, yeah, like, like just under here, they just don't, 
yeah, I, I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Am I, am I going crazy? All right, but anyway, there's still some plenty more stuff to do in here. We need to find the secret. Where is it? Uh, over here, is it? There we go. Stuby. Hello, Stuby. Remember that movie with Batista and Kumail Nanananji? It was called uh, Stuba. Stu and Uber. Yeah. Very funny. No, it wasn't, it wasn't that funny. It was okay. Yeah, a bit, bit of a bro comedy, you know. What's your favorite bro comedy? Leave a leave a comment in the uh, in the comment section below. And even then, that's even a lie. It wasn't really a bro comedy. Either. It was just kind of a comedy, just a comedy. I actually watched um, my Big Fat Greek Wedding tonight, the first one. And by the time this video is up, I will have seen the third one. I only saw the second one in the theater with Angus. Um, uh, in sixty-four. Ah, the sorceress has a real prize on her hands here. It took two dozen Rhinox to capture this dim-witted furball. So you'd better believe he's not going to get out cheap. I love how he's banging on the side there, on the cage. Brilliant. All right, I'm going to say no deal, dirtbag. Sorry. Very well, then. I was having a rather good time poking him with a stick anyway. <laughs> what a nice guy. Where are you getting all this money, Spyro? <laughs> it's not just lying around on the ground, is it? <laughs> uh, is it? Ah, what do I care? It's mine now. Uh, the first rejuvenating breath of freedom. With the humility of a wounded sparrow, I genuflect to my noble deliverer. Uh, it was no big deal, dude. Yes. <clears throat> After all, it was I who let you out. Why, you brazenly avaricious, duplicitous, larcenous ursi! Now hold on! <laughs> One more, perhaps? At least. <laughs> Please do afford me the sublime honor of enjoying your visitation in the nearest future. <laughs> yeah, sure. I love it. Love Bentley. Love Bartholomew. Can't believe Bartholomew was in uh, Spyro 4, like, uh, Enter the Dragonfly, but actually Bentley, like, wasn't. Such a strange, strange inclusion. Um, but, um, yeah, that's the introduction of Bentley. They'll, not the introduction, but the first time you, you know, properly see Bentley using a little bit more crazy language. He, he kind of was with the Sorceress, but then, you know, the, the last, the Earth sign line or whatever it is, duplicitous, you know, was it a, I forgot what he even said, but shirt, short term, shirt term memory loss, yeah, alright, anyway, let's, where are the last gems here, I feel like I'm missing a bunch, let's see, that way, okay, but yeah, I wish we could have seen the, uh, I wish we could have seen, um, uh, the professor in here, I think that would have been really, really cool, let me get a shot of this, there you go. Oh, look at that. I love the, the shrubbery along the side here, though, too. Very, very cool. Beautiful. And they did a decent job with the music, too. All right, down there. Down, down, down. The presets. Great track. Look up the presets. They're like my first favorite electronic band or duo. The presets. Yeah, I've seen them live a couple of times. Fantastic. Um, you know, another thing I saw as well, I was talking about all the stuff I've seen here, um, I saw the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, you know, you know, animated movie, and it was fantastic, like legitimately like Spider-Verse tier, absolutely phenomenal, I adored it. Alright, where, where is this, where is this bloody gems? Where are these gems? Oh, there you go, oh, there's one. Okay, where art thou? Oh, there. There we go. Done. How good. How good. Um, yeah. And it was, yeah, Spider-Verse tier. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Great voice acting. Great camaraderie between the cast. You could he tell that the teens had, like, actually, um, you know, worked together. Um, like, you know, like, like they were, like, actually in the room doing the dialogue, which I think is really important. Um, 
it's it makes it more believable when they're talking and like you know that kind of thing oh 29.99 yeah so fantastic go and see it if you haven't already it's probably by now it's probably already on like the on demand but yeah just go see it you will not regret it you will not all right here we go done let's head on we're back in this world the world of uh oh there they all are the world of um what's it called uh did they guns and we are going to not bog guns i changed it back just because i wanted to wanted to check out midday gardens again you know bog guns was awesome but i thought all right, all right, all right. We've, we've shown it off it's brilliant um but yeah we'll go back to the original now Hope, hope we can see another one. I'd love to see this like ice fight, like you know, winter fight, kind of like I did my Spyro 3 texture hacks. Um, yeah, it should be in Spyro 3.5 as well. The the uh, the mod, the hack, the ROM hack. Go check that out. All right, so let's talk to Hi, old mate. Spyro. Hi, Sparks. I've located another lost egg. If Sparks is up to it, he can try to rescue it from Spider Town. Where is Spider Town though? Like, where is it? Like they say, it's like, okay, I found another area. Well, where are we going? In here? Is it in here? In that little crack? Um, but yeah, all right. In the next part, we're gonna do some more backtracking and we're gonna do some more sparks. Um, yeah, thank you very, very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this part. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, please, because that will definitely, that will get me back in the algorithm and uh, share it around. And uh, yeah, I will speak to you all. Leave a comment as well. And I will speak to you all very, very soon. See you then.